A lot of people are hurting after seeing such a young life ended so soon. Landon Hayes was shot and killed Saturday by a man who then killed himself. LEX 18's Rachel Richardson is speaking with city leaders about steps they're taking to try and fight gun violence and try to prevent tragedies like these in the future. That's tonight's big story at five. Lexington police say 10 year old Landon Hayes was shot a victim of a murder suicide this past Sunday at his home on North Upper Street. Now his family continues remembering his life and what he meant to others. He was uh, a tremendous athlete, had a glowing personality. Uh, if you met him, you, you're going to like him. He always had something funny to say or something smart to say. Um, and. Uh, that's who he was. His humor and his kindness. That's how Landon's uncle says he'll remember him. I mean, he's just a great kid. He was funny. It was never a dull moment with Landon. 13 assault with firearm cases have been reported so far this year, and that's not including homicides. This city's leaders say gun violence prevention starts before anyone ever picks up a gun. You know, I was on the scene with the families and, and kind of, you know, grieving with them and, and just kind of being there with the community. Divine Karama, the director of One Lexington, says his goal is to prevent gun violence before it starts by speaking to and mentoring youth. It's how do we minister um, to our people and to our community before it gets to a point of gun violence. Um, so as we're not just putting a Band-Aid over the problem. Now Landon Hayes' family wants to make sure others heal. When young kids know that a poplar person, a friend of theirs, has lost their life by means of violence, by means of accidental uh, deaths, that they're stricken because they rub shoulders with these kids every day. So I'm asking the community in this sector to reach out to other kids to talk to them. Hoping to find more peace in this community in Lexington, Rachel Richardson, LEX 18 News.